Well, I was born at the Paul Hospital in uh, 1933 uh, during the Depression. Dad didn't have a job. As the Depression moved along, they they moved out to off of Warson and Page Avenue. And there was nothing out there then. Was, and that's the first thing I remember is uh, sliding down the hill with a little sled. I see first the sparkle of his eyes and smile. He was telling a joke before he even got the joke out. He was a man of few words, but they were choice words. And he had all those sparkling jokes and witty sayings that came out almost uh, effortlessly when he got to be older. I just remember as a little girl, all sitting on dad's lap for the night before Christmas story. And you know, there was a trip to Baldnobber's Cave, that, where we never found Baldnobber's Cave, where Dad did a spin out in the parking lot because we got there and then eventually it was closed. Um, it reminds me now that, you know, how much effort I had to go into doing these, to pull these trips off in these uh, secondhand station wagons with these kids that were complaining all the time. Um, but you really made memories for us. Thanks for the trips, and thanks for the memories, and happy anniversary. I love you both so, so much. There's nothing I wish I could do more right now than give you the biggest squeeze, and I know we will soon. It was really neat looking back at all the pictures and memories from your life and what we've shared as a family. Thank you so much for all that you've given. Happy anniversary! We love you! We love you, I lost my tooth. I love you guys so much. Um, I hope you have a great day celebrating together and many more years to come as the best grandparents. Love you.